Well, hello, folks. I don't know how much of this you can actually see. It's uh, nighttime now, or getting near nighttime. But And I don't know when you're going to watch this video because I'm sort of in the middle of a project. I'm working on the Tadpole Nebula. I've always wanted to shoot this, and I wanted to wait till I had the right equipment. And that's IC410, or, uh, and it's in between this NGC1893, which is a uh, which is a cluster. Anyhow, uh, as I said, I'm in the middle of this, and I've already got some HA, and I took a little bit of some uh, sulfur, and now I'm working on oxygen. But I started this over a month ago, and it's just been crazy weather. In fact, I had a big scare the other night. It was clear outside, and it was after we had this huge ice, frozen, freezing rain, snow storm thing, and it got clear in the night, so I figured, ah, maybe I can get some oxygen data, and I got an hour's worth of some good data, and then all of a sudden, I was inside, and I heard the wind just really suddenly kick up, and I saw the ice and snow blowing around and I quickly ran outside and uh, unfortunately my telescope was uh, covered in snow where, where the lens was so I had to I finally cleaned my lens on my new telescope I got it well I got it a year ago and I haven't clean, I haven't had to clean it yet but I, I did now so anyways everything appears to be okay I was out last night and uh, got some good data uh, also another new thing is I've got this new computer uh, to run uh, my mount and the telescope it's a super better better computer I'm sort of trying to put my old one that's over 10 years old to rest now or uh, you know, to um, give it a rest <laughs> uh, unfortunately the new computer everything works on it, it runs everything except for PhD 2 and it's not the guiding program it's the uh, it's my QHY 5 uh, driver so they have new drivers for the QHY and the old ones. You can't get the old ones. And for some reason, the old, the new QHY driver doesn't work. I've contacted them and they suggested doing some uh, new downloads of the new ASCOM software. And I did all that and I got the camera to work, but it still doesn't work And with PhD2 for some reason. So I put in a new... Uh, put in for a uh, new ASI 120 for uh, a guide camera. Apparently, that this is well known that QHY drivers don't work all that well. Uh, so whatever. As I said, I don't know when I'm, you're going to see this because I'm still in the process of it, and I want to show you um, some of my processing, and I want to I want to show you this image after it's done. So uh, we'll see when whenever you get to watch this video. Well, howdy, folks. So I'm out here capturing sulfur right now. I just got, I just finished up with the oxygen. So I've got about five hours, a little over five hours of HA. I've got a little over, or probably right on five hours of oxygen. And I got about one and a half hours of this sulfur. And the sulfur is really not apparent in this in this object in this in these tadpoles I, th these are the tadpoles right here so there's a little bit of sulfur uh, but I, ha I have met, I have uh, done some research and this is like everybody's uh, sulfur for this object so it's uh, pretty dim once I stack them uh, it becomes more apparent that that these are the tadpoles right here Anyways, I think I mentioned in my introduction that I got a new computer. This is my old computer still because my uh, auto guider, the QHY uh, 5 uh, driver, doesn't work. The new drivers don't work or they're not working properly. So I can't use my new computer yet. I have had it out here and I, I, I did the Exposure Meridian flips finished. with it, and I did the, uh, you know, running everything but the guiding, and boy, does it, is it, is it fast. It's much faster than this. I, I've had little intermittent problems before, and I always, you know, I listened to everybody else was saying, oh, it's the cables, it's this, it's that, but my limited experience with the new computer, I, I think a lot of it's a new computer too. I mean, you, you know, if you're using an old dinosaur computer or something that doesn't have a lot of um, 
speed, then that may be a factor too. Uh, this this computer, it's it's been a handy, it's been a handy computer. Uh, I'm really happy that I had it. Uh, but it's 11 years old and it's it's pretty slow. I think it's past its prime. And the the new one that I've got, it's uh, to Dell and it's got eight gigabytes of RAM and it's got a solid state hard drive and it's got the i5 um, Intel i5 uh, CPU. So it's a little overkill. You don't you don't need anything too fancy to run these these programs but still I it just like I said everything was much quicker much more stable it seemed with that uh, new computer so when I get all this object done I'll, I'll show you some of my processing and uh, and we'll see what we what we got anyways we'll see you later I'm finally done with this object and it's a uh, oh, week after I or week and a half after I made those other videos but uh, let's show you, here's what I got. So this is the, the HA data, and it's really good, I think. Nicely detailed, and it came out really well. And there, it was over five hours, or just over five hours. And um, this is the least noise I've ever gotten. So th this is the best HA image I've ever taken. So that's HA. Let's show what else I got. Here's oxygen. <clears throat> Oxygen came out real well too, I think. It's a little um, uh, noise or on the outside, but um, I got rid of that with automatic background subtraction. And here's the sulfur. And let me show you the sulfur, what I first got. It's right here. Now, I process this stuff in PixInsight, which is what I'm using right now. I stacked them, and for whatever reason, this is what I got for sulfur. I don't know what the heck happened. I thought it might have been the flats. So what I did was I um, I stacked them in Deep Sky Stacker without the flats. came out good. And then I stacked them in Deep Sky Stacker with the flats. And again, it came out real well. And this is what I got with Deep Sky Stacker with the flats. So I don't know why PixInsight couldn't stack it, but it's the first time it's ever happened. So whatever, if anybody's got any ideas, let me show you that again. So here it is. So this is what I got. And if anybody knows why, <laughs> please let me know. I'd be interested to find out. So anyways, so this is my three images and I combined them. Yeah, I did a few things and and picks insight uh, as an automatic background detection, did extraction and stuff like that. And, I, and this is what I got when I when I combined them. This is the standard SHO combination. And what I like to do is I like to do the uh, more of the color enhancement. And I'll do D, I'll do noise reduction here, but I do a lot of the color enhancements, fine-tuning with that in Photoshop. Let me show you, I'll open up Photoshop. And here's that same image in Photoshop. And what I like to do to get it to the nice different colors on these um, these types of images is I'll go into it, uh, adjustment, down here to selective color. And I'll just pick a color, let's say the yellows. And I'll just start playing around with that and see how you see what you can do with this. So I can make that. Uh, so I'll just go around and play around with this uh, for quite a while until I get to the colors that I like. So, anyways, that's where I do all that. When I finally got done playing around with Photoshop, and I, I brought it back to Pix Insight, did some more stuff in Pix Insight. Brought it back to Photoshop, went back to Pixinsight, and then back to Photoshop. And when I was all said and done, I finally wound up with this. Close. I'll leave it open. There we go. So this is what I finally wound up with after I got done with all that. Um, moving some out of the way. 
moving stuff back and forth. I actually ended up cropping it a bit. Most of you who aren't familiar with it, my uh, videos or my images, I usually like to keep it as wide as field as possible. And this has already been cropped a bit, but I cropped it even more. But uh, anyways, I'm pretty happy with it. So that's, I'm, I'm ecstatic about being done with this object. It took me well over a month. But uh, anyhow, we'll...